It is no secret that the economy of the country is in dire straits. Nigerians are speaking on how they have been coping with economic hardship and what the government can do to assist the people. But that's on Street Views. Take a listen. sad actually because I mean the cost of things are very crazy you know you buy something for a particular amount on Monday you go back to the market on Tuesday just barely 24 hours after and it's almost triple the price and we some people can barely afford you know that kind of lifestyle so really the hardship presently is it's difficult the country is almost impossible and unbearable for people to live. It has not been easy, you know. Um, the way things are expensive, it has warranted us to be trekking. Like you see the way I'm sweating, because the cost of transportation is high. So I have to trek down here so that the, the cheap need to be cheap for me. Going to the market and things are expensive, you know. Cost of transportation, cost of living is high and all that. They are supposed to know what to do. They can improve on it. They should step up their game in their administration. The government have a lot of things to do. And we personally, as Nigerians, we have a lot of things to do. We know that governments are making policies that are not economically favorable for Nigerians, especially people at grassroots. That one, number one. Then number two is that we ourselves, we are doing ourselves. In what sense is that there are some things that there are some commodities that we we purchase in this country that are not dollar monetary value, but we just like we when, once we hear there is a rise in dollar, sure you understand. Everybody thinks to even local local made products. People thinks to like oh okay even what you are not buying with dollar people tends to like, okay, base the price of the dollar. It's about time for them to wake up because this is not what they promised us. We suffer when the sun in the rain voting for them. At the end of the day, this is what they are giving us. We don't like it. We don't like it. They should see to it. The hardship everywhere. Even yesterday, I saw it at the social media where a father shot his son because he did not the son did not give him permission before he cooked the last meal. And the guy died. You understand? This is not good. The government, they are really treating us bad. Nigeria government. Ah, uh -uh, Baba Jagaban, this is not what you promised us. What is happening? A lot. Government has to do a lot of things. The migration issue is another thing, you know, because the economy is biting. And um, I think the government should look at it, look at the economic um, performance of pe pe the, the purchasing power of individuals, that it is actually low. They have to do something on it. One, they should bring down prices of goods, open up the borders. Since our agricultural sector is zero, we are not farming as a result of um, Boko Haram, terrorism and kidnapping. So I think they have to open up the border and allow people and allow the inflow of food. Let people eat first. When we eat, we can um, have the strength to do the next thing. But the, the, the basic things of life, food, shelter and clothing, Food is lacking, shelter is even lacking, is it clothing, everything is very expensive, so they should open up the border. For now, that's one of the economic advices and advice trees that will give the government. Forget about every other thing you're doing, open the border and allow people to feed. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.